This week we will be exploring how to measure energy sustainability. Last week we learned about how to define sustainability in the context of energy and what the main components of energy sustainability are. We explored some questions related to each component of sustainability, but how do we measure these indicators of sustainability in a consistent way that makes it possible to compare different energy sources for different energy uses. That is what this week is all about, defining sustainability indicators for energy. Determining how to select sustainability indicators for energy decision making. Examining how to assess these sustainability indicators. Obtaining a deeper understanding of certain indicators and exploring the advantages and disadvantages associated with selecting certain sustainability indicators for energy. This week focuses a fair amount of time and attention on one sustainability indicator, climate change, for a few reasons. One, scientific evidence suggests this global problem may have environmental consequences to wildlife and ecosystems that greatly eclipse other local or regional environmental issues. Two, this one issue affects long-term economic, environmental, and social sustainability. And three, it is a highly misunderstood and politicized issue. You will be required to read the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's Summary for Policymakers for the 2007 Synthesis Report, the most recent comprehensive assessment of climate change evidence, scientific evidence. If you want more information about what you read here, you can check out the optional readings and videos, which provide more information from the IPCC on climate change and about the IPCC from other sources. Although there is disagreement among citizens, and especially among politicians, about whether climate change is real and whether humans are contributing to it, there is relatively little disagreement among scientists. Unfortunately, we do not have time in this course to go in-depth into these po popular culture disagreements and scientific evidence. Since this course is based in science, and scientific evidence overwhelmingly supports the theory that climate change is happening, and is being affected by the burning of fossil fuels by humans, we will go forward trusting the science. If you do not trust the science on a personal level, I invite you to explore the optional material thoroughly do your own research and feel free to do extra credit assignments to express your knowledge based on your own research and or create a discussion forum online to engage in research-based discussion of this topic. However, if you do choose to explore this topic further, please cite scientific evidence as your basis for all arguments rather than special interest groups, popular media, or political interests. After the discussion assignment deadline, please look out for the week two recap lecture, which will summarize these topics more in depth. It will be located at the beginning of the week three folder.